Hey, it's me, the JFT Network, coming back with another video today. We're going to be talking the re the preview of the Jets-Dolphins game. Um, this ge this game has more chance than the last ga last last game than um than the Raiders game. You know. Um, uh, the thing about this is I don't really have much faith in Jay Cutler, which makes me happy. Here are the three things the Jets need to do come Sunday at the game. We need to go in there. We need to stop Ajayi. We can take the 20 points. We can outscore them if Ajayi doesn't have a good day. Ajayi has a good day. Throw it out the window. We're about finished if anything happens with Ajayi. Ajayi gets 100 yards, we lose. Ajayi gets less than 100 yards, we win. That's my opinion. The Jets' defensive running game is pathetic. In the preseason, we saw the Jets' defense play better than their offense. Agreed? Um, and I'm coming in the season thinking, yeah, this is going to be a crappy... We're going to be the, like the Rams are. Great defense, terrible offense. Right now, we have a terrible offense and a terrible defense. Or a crappy offense and a terrible defense. Because to be honest, our team's probably on the Madden rankings. I bet we're not even over 70. 68 at best at the moment. Josh McCallan, Josh McCallan needs to score throw two touchdown passes. And Matt Forte, Matt Forte just wants to sit there and oh I'm a veteran. I'll stay and I'll keep my spot. That's just not gonna happen here. Um, or maybe it will. But if it was my team, that wouldn't happen. Um, anyway, so what do I think will happen? I think Jay Jardy's going to get a hundred yards. I think, um, Jay Cutler might be, if we pick off Jay Cutler, we have a chance. He, um, and we just got to outscore him. I mean, Curse is back, Curse played a good game last week. I liked it. Um, uh, we have St Stefan getting scary getting Jenkins, we have Jenkins back. Um, you know who I mean. I can't pronounce his name. Sorry, it's very hard to pronounce. It's quite embarrassing, but um, anyway, he's back this week. Um, we have Bobby Anderson. We still have Bobby Anderson. Um, so we have three. There's three okay weapons at wide receiver. Um, starting to on Sunday. Um, so we just need to keep in these games. Um, we have the ability to stay in games. Until the fourth quarter, we need to be in a we need to be in a situation that we're down, or we don't need to be in a situation. Preferably, the where I see it to be at the fourth quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter, is scored going to be like 17-14, and the Jets have the ball. We need to score. We need to be in a situation by the fourth quarter to win this game. Um, it's that's the issue. But week one, we were down by nine. I mean, the Jets aren't a team that's going to come back by nine in the fourth quarter. Um, no, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Down by 20-some in the fourth quarter of the last game. You've got to keep yourself in the game till the fourth quarter and then push it out and win it. The Jets have the most chance of winning this game, in my opinion. I'm going with the Jets here. Um, I think the Jets are going to win to a score 21-17, to 21-20. I think it's going to be very close in the lower 20s, upper teens. That is my prediction. Jets win. Go 1-2, and two, um... Jay Cutler struggles, gets picked off by Jamal Adams, we'll say. And Bobby Anderson has a touchdown, and Curse has a touchdown. And I'm going to say um, Jenkins has a touchdown, too. Um, no running touchdowns, once again. So that's the video. If you like the video, make, sh make sure you hit the like button. For more like this video, for more like these preview videos, um, hit the subscribe button. It helps my channel. You know you like football. Um, so just subscribe to me, yo. And um, the recap video of this will come on Sunday evening or Monday evening, one of those days. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. God bless you all.